Hi and welcome back. It's time now to create some of your evidence product. So we're going to do John's assessment plan. So the first thing I need you to do is go back and think about the uh, licensing, you know, forklift licensing unit of competency that you selected. Way back in week one, there was two that you could have looked at. And since then, you've been able to download that unit of competency from training.gov.au. So I need you to put the code in here. That'll start with T-L-I-L-I-C. So place that in and then also put the unit title. So that'll be license to operate a forklift. We'll come back to this shortly. The candidate's name. The candidate is the person being assessed. So John Smith will go in there and we'll put in a fictitious phone number for John. Your name as the assessor goes in there and make sure that you're using a capital letter for all of you know, for the first name and the last name. Okay, so it's not literally your name. You actually have to state your name in there. But to keep all of the uh, documents ready for audit, you need to use the correct punctuation. And that goes for John as well. Capital J, capital S for Smith. So just again, another fictitious phone number, employer contact details. Let's make that Mike Doe. So you can see how I've capitalised there and just another fictitious phone number. The location of the assessment, this is important now to put the address and we decided that the company was Mike's Bikes. Now we're also going to put in here the full address. So that needs to be set out correctly with addresses so let's just call that one and then we drop a line so you can see how I've capitalised there and we'll just create a suburb and I don't know the post code for that we'll just create any fictitious one so that's the correct way to set out the address proper capitalising as well Okay, the assessment date, put in today's date and the time, if you recall, the downtime was between 6.30pm and 7.30pm. That was the organisational arrangement while there was a shift change in a toolbox meeting. Now, it is not applicable to have an industry specialist. You are the specialist. You've been driving forklifts for years, in particular pallet forklifts. So that is the level of specialisation that's required. And you know you can see that there was no indicator in that unit of competency package to have any more than you who has the vocational experience perform the assessment. Now the purpose of assessment, just in an earlier lecture, we ticked that box for John um, or highlighted that box. That's on your other assessment document. You can place that information in there. Now the unit of con competency, the element is the first element which uh, you can get from your unit of competency, the TLI LIC 2001A. And we're only going to be looking at performance criterion one today. So I want you to write down what that performance criterion is. The conditions of assessment you also find in the unit of competency for that and it specified that under no circumstances could you have a simulation. So we will write assessment is to occur in the workplace and we'll come back to the rest of the instructions very shortly. So do your best and fill out that form if you're handwriting it. Don't forget that any hard copy documents do need to be electronically scanned and submitted for your assessor. But look, it's, it's, it's much easier sometimes, I think, to handwrite it first.